Hey, it's Josh here from Create Studio, and in this video, I want to share with you what's new inside our latest release. So, we've created a few cool things, and the first one is the ability to distort your media. And this works on images, text, videos, as well as groups. So, let's say I've got a video clip over here, or like an image of someone, you know, on a computer, and I want to go ahead and replace what he's looking at with my own content. So, what we could do in this example is just go grab a video that you want to replace. So I'm going to just drag this down and kind of position it roughly on the screen where it would be. And when you install the latest update, you'll be able to see this new icon here. And this enables me to go into the distortion mode. And you'll be able to see now the corners have gone circular. So if I just zoom in here and just click on this and drag it up like this, I can go in and also just position this where I want it. Let's say about there. I can also drag this one down. And you, I'm just holding down space bar and clicking to kind of get around the canvas like this. And that's looking pretty cool. So now I can preview this. I've got a nice screen animation. And you can see while, while it's moving, because there's some kind of um, camera um, wobble on this actual footage, you can see that the, the MacBook, the iMac's moving. So what I can do is create a keyframe as well on this footage. So I'm going to click on this footage, click on Add Animation, Distortion, and just drag this up slightly. And I'm going to click on this distortion icon and just bring this up like this so that it covers that part. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. So let's just preview that. Cool. So that's just one way that you can use this uh, feature. I'm just going to delete that media as well. And let's go grab this one here. This one's a lot easier because there's no movement on the actual footage. And let's say I want to just drag this one in. I'll just quickly scale this down and show you this as well. So you can either click on this icon or you can double click on the corners and then just position them like this. And you can see how quick and easy it is to go ahead and distort your media for 3D um, you know, footage to really create these cool effects. So you're going to have a lot of fun uh, using this feature and you can use it in many creative ways. Um, one of the things as well we've done is for all Create Studio users, if I just go out of here, we've enabled the Lightning Builder uh, and we've added free, uh, 10 free scene packs. So for all Create Studio users, you'll be able to see, um, you can go ahead and use the Lightning Builder now. Um, and yeah, this is really cool. If you haven't seen it yet, you can go ahead and add scenes. So let's say you've got an intro. I might add like a slide over here and this slide over here as well as testimonial and a call to action. So then you can go ahead and choose the transitions. So I might go and select that one. And I'm going to apply this to all my scenes. So I've got the same transition across. You can go to the editor and then choose a music track. So I'm going to go with corporate. And you can see how quick and easy it is to build videos uh, with our Lightning Builder. So I just preview this. And you can go ahead and you know customize everything inside of here. You can use our easy edit panel over here to make edits to the design. You know, you can customize it for your brand and style and obviously change all the text. For example. Um, so yeah, that's one of the cool things we've done and also inside the editor you'll be able to see you've got the scenes option. If you're not a current OXS Pass member, you'll be able to now see this and this enables you to also add scenes directly from within the editor. Uh, so let's say you want to add something like this. I can go and download and add it to my scene. Just drag it where I want it. Maybe add also an animation, so that a transition, so something like that. You can see I've got this really cool animation. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoy these new updates. Well, what, what last thing as well that we've got is you're about to see we've got this option to visit our store. So we've just created a new Create Studio store. So if you're not an All Access Pass member and you want to purchase individual templates or characters or scenes, you can go ahead and do it now inside our store. So let's say you want to go grab this one. You can just preview it like so. And then what you can do is either purchase it for a one-time price or you can go ahead and grab an all-access pass and that will enable you to get access to everything inside our store plus new characters and templates every month, okay? So yeah, I hope you enjoy what we've just released. And if you are enjoying Create Studio, we'd love it if you could 
leave us a review on G2. Uh, we're looking to try and get more reviews on there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this new update. Make sure to install the latest version to see these added in your account. And as always, have fun creating.